Hello, and today I'm back playing Shapehead.io. So, last episode I, ne I did quite a lot of off-camera building, namely with this monstrous machine to pump out all of that good stuff, and I also modified a machine to start to produce some important things. Fortunately, color oh, color mixers are actually nearly doubly efficient to the painters. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I also got an upgrade. That was that explains all this. But anyway, things are going faster now. And I have to make six hundred of these things. So maybe a bit more efficiency would be in order. So actually here, there's access to both red and blue, so maybe I can set up a color mixing station all through here. Probably th just three more, and then split three into four. It's, um, I'm actually not sure what way to board. Okay, let's do it all down then. And we'll put some north facing red extractors. And two east facing and one south facing. And I'll have it on a line right here. Not no combination. You don't want actually don't want a combination. Okay, I'm not sure how things will go just doing this. I'm gonna need a lot of tunnels. Actually yes, I need so much tunnels that it is unviable to do this now. Never mind, then. <laughs> Let's put our color mixers wider apart, then. Maybe this will fix some things. Yeah, and bring them over here. And then here, I think I will draw a tunnel under that, and then that connects up easily. This one is harder. Okay, I will involve editing that line, and then... Oops, uh-oh. That didn't make any difference. Okay, good. Now things are back to normal there. And that means now... I can make a double tunnel. What? I don't know, every, every time I try to make a double tunnel, it just messes itself up. Yeah, there's the output of that. Okay, good. There. Now I think it's all going well. And we should be getting some nice purple dye coming out the other end. And then we can set up a splitting a combination system. And we'll have triple speed coming in and out of there. In the meantime, I'm actually more than halfway done, so this is probably all just a huge waste of time. But I can repurpose this system should I need more purple needs be met. From this, I will make three east facing circlers, circle makers. And then put 
put that in there. So now there's full. Let's actually just do that because I'm too lazy to draw one conveyor belt. Yes, I know. And now let's go the opposite direction. And now, to account for some efficiency concerns, we'll split it into four here. And also split this into four. And then, in time, we'll get some painting, painting machines. Going right over this lot of red dye, I already have some open red dye up here. And if not, I can really just source it from anywhere else in this world. It looks like there's a, of course, a huge jam of supplies going into the blue through that painting station. And this is all completely jammed up. No, oh, actually, never mind. I think it's... Never mind. It does not really matter very much the state of the other system. Oops. No. No, no, no. There. This set. I may consider moving the splitter down to a lower position, should the need arise. First one goes to here, second one goes to here, and then somehow screw up all that, and third one goes to here, and the fourth one goes into the last one. So there, now I've got the purple circle painting machine. Oh, it's too wide. Okay. Well, that is a fixable problem. here. It's facing the wrong way, of course. Oh! That is... That is actually really bad. <laughs> Just as I finished building the system. It meets the goal by itself. Okay, 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 fine. Ah, but I will set this up. A big hue of purple circles is building up. And I think I might actually be able to merge it around to the main line. I know I'm just completely ignoring what the current demand is for. But I don't care. I just want to make the previous demand work at a double speed rate. Because look, look at all those em empty spaces on that conveyor belt. We can't have that. Excellent. So now I'll just. Oh, wow. That's a massive line. I guess splitting three and four did work very well. And now all the little spaces on the belt are getting picked up. And, oh. How do I make this? Cyan, 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 cyan. Yes. Okay. Well, I know that's blue and green, but... Is there an... Oh! It's another shape! That's sourced from far away up here. So it wants cyan, so I think I can repurpose the red-blue mixing system and turn it to green-blue. And I can just source things from other places. So, uh, since I need six, I will make them all south-facing into two blocks of three, 
because the painters are still too slow. And then get some south facing mixers, or I think they're actually called balancers, but I'm going to call them mixers, even though there's already something else in this game called the mixer. Okay, so these, that's, that's the extraction system. Now I need to get a green dye system set up. But, thankfully for me, there is some green dye out here that I can make. It's three south and three east facing. And then I can link them up. And then now we have the two lines each going to one machine. So now, I need to cut off the red system supply, because we don't need that anymore. Make an inverse splitter, showing it will split. Oh, back to three. Actually, you know what? I don't think we need... I'm not sure how it will work, because it will split it all by half. That means one line will get more than the other. Alright, so I've now run into a dilemma. I now don't want to have these splitters because I need to keep all of the lines balanced, but that will mean that there's a huge block of system here. This will just be like a real factory, fit with, with too many lines. Well, the blue is going to be jammed up. I could also cut this off too, and just leave those lines. I don't think I can make annotations on this, can I? That's a shame. Oops, I did not mean to do that. All of them, all the systems are along here, so I, they 100%, okay. Six of these, four, five, and six, and they all need to feed in to one of these tunnels. These conveyor belts are kind of, kind of weird, to be honest. Alright, so now there are six green lines. I need to get these, three of these green lines, through this. So I'm going to make three more tunnels. Okay, the good thing about this game is that it's all creative mode, so I don't really have to worry about resources. It's really a space problem. And I have tunnels. Okay, so let's make the three westernmost feed into this system. No, 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 no. And then the east ones, they will feed into the separate system. It looks a bit like a circuit board now. But I have a problem again. Oh look, it's still making quarter circles. Anyways, so now it looks like there may be a little bit more space for some inverse traffic. I believe counterintuitively I should make this one go along the longest track. one into the second. Oh good, it actually turned out very well. Because 
Now this goes into the third one. And we have our first pieces of cyan die coming. Unfortunately, it's to the wrong shape. Of course it is. That's unfortunate. Now, where was that? Oh, yes. This system. This needs to get cut off here. Sorry, there's a truck driving by my house. Okay. Now, as I was saying... Oops, delivers... Yes, I know, those cyan squares. Alright. Now, let's connect that to here. And then I just need to feed it into there. In hindsight, I probably should have kept the generator. But I can easily rebuild it. It's only a small equipment. There. What? Oh, of course it is. There's a problem with the conveyor belt. I thought there was the game automatically fixed. Minor issues like that. I think it doesn't. So now I should focus on getting okay, no, no, getting some piping some more green dye into this these three things here. And also getting some more of these, these things here. The, I'm actually not sure what to call these. So if there are any geometrists watching this video, if, that, if somebody knows what this shape is, please tell me, because I do not know. However, the good thing with the shapes is that they can be all automatically put into one line. Alright, so now they're starting to pile up. However, there's a massive line of circles still there. So, just gets jammed up again. That's a bit sad. That's because there's no green dye. I think for the blue dye line, I will have to make it a slightly not system. Oops. So I can have a vertical stretch. And I can build three tunnels under. Okay. Three there. 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 Oh, that's only two, though. I have to do some creative piping. Okay, I'll move it to things like that. However, um, there's simply not enough room. However, I don't need any of that system, and it, I can just connect it straight up like that. Let's see if this will even come close to working. I might have to temporarily interrupt this line too. But at least some are trickling in. Imagine if I spend so much time setting up the second half that the first half gets the job done by itself. That will be mildly infuriating again. And the thing is, I already built the system, I just needed to connect it up to new inputs. Oh, looks like some more problems have prevent presented themselves. On this behemoth of a machine, it's so large that I cannot fit the other green line, green line things through it. Considerate and mindful about there's still one more line that needs to be put to here. This is all just to balance fractions and squeeze a little bit more efficiency out of those. 
splitters. All right. This this setup has so far been the largest waste of conveyor belts I've ever had to do in my one whole hour of playing this game. But at least now I can be simply fed right into the machine after we purge those circles from it. There they go, it's going oh, it's so slowly. Okay. Actually, I have a bit of a very unorthodox solution. One, two, three, four. Just shred them all. And now there's only one <coughs> or less circles in the system. Okay, that, that worked completely. But now we have to deal with this false shipment here. And there's a mixture. They all come out. I think I'll look at my statistics during this time. All right, and I don't know why it peaked and then fell again. Let's produce, but stored, it's just steadily gone up. For some reason there. Okay, look at that, perfect. Such masterful efficiency. I'm kidding, it's, it's probably hideously inefficient. But we've got the first pure batches coming up. I don't know why, but this one seems less efficient than ever before. Even though it has four painters, maybe it's just how it's set up. Look at all this. You just see the lines of green dye. But at least I have a dye setup that works. Oops, oh no, what did I do? I shut off completely the, the green dye runs all six lines and damaged the tunnel. That was help up delivery, but look at that. We're now actually having a traffic jam because I'm producing so much. This traffic jam is not good, it's hurting efficiency. So, I guess I'll just have two conveyor belts that are not running at full capacity then. Now, I guess it's good to know that. Looking up like that. To unlock stacker. I'm presuming it stacks on top of each other. Oh wow, running at 23 minutes. Alright, this has been a very long episode. So, I think it's really time to end it. So, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed 23 minutes of me trying to set up the most efficient way to manage these very oddly shaped shapes.